What's going on everybody? It's Dark Skater 7 and today uh, we got something in the mail. Of course, we're always getting stuff in the mail and it's stuff for the Steam Deck. So of course, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and unbox that. So why I have a Steam Deck sitting right here front and center is for a reason. We see that it is on a dock, or not really a dock, but a stand uh, that I was using. This is an old Nintendo, uh, I think it was like a Nintendo Wii or Wii U or some kind of little makeshift stand that I was using that was actually doing pretty well you know for what I needed it for because if I wanted to connect my uh, Xbox controller to it it was easy to do uh, but now we have something else and it is the JSOX official uh, stand so let's go ahead and take that out go ahead and cut that straight out of that and um oh, cool okay wow okay so it's in a smaller box let me go ahead and move this back a little bit it's in a smaller box than I thought it would be in, but that's what it looks like. It doesn't look like much, but from here you can see the little, the uh, I guess the, like the features, uh, 100 watt fast charge um, connection, HDMI 4K at 60 hertz uh, output, uh, RJ45 gigabyte Ethernet port, and then five gigabyte per second data transmission. So uh, that's what it is. JSOX, you guys already remember from the last video, when I did an unboxing and a, uh, I guess a, a look, a first look at the uh, case that had like the small compartment in it. So let's go ahead and cut that out. This looks almost like it could fit in side of that case, honestly. Take this on out. Very nice box. Um, everything's self-explanatory pretty much. I don't need to look at all this. I know how all this works. So I'm gonna put this to the side, but just in case, it doesn't work out I will make sure I keep it so it's in this one single bag and there it is got a metal a metal finish very solid and those are my connections here you got your USB type C HDMI USB 3.0 USB 3.0 USB 3.0 if you turn to the side here that's your uh, gigabyte ethan or gigabit Ethernet port and then over here, we have our uh, type C connector. That is a, see it has the angle there. So it comes above, oh matter of fact, let me just go ahead and do this. Sorry, thank you for your service. We'll get rid of you. And then what it's gonna do is, I'm gonna turn the steam deck around, set it in just like that. And then what this does is that it folds right over and it plugs directly in. Then, you have uh, your signal that's gonna be coming from that connection going down here into the body, and then you'll have your HDMI out, and then if you wanna hook up your keyboard and your uh, mouse if you have one, or even a Bluetooth dongle, and uh, whatever else you want, you can hook it up there. Right there, you would put in your power, and that would be charging your uh, Steam Deck at the same time. So let's go ahead and turn it around. And I do have a skin on here from uh, Dbrand, and it fits right in here with no problem. Also, if you can see right back here, I'll go ahead and get closer. It has like a rubberized feel to it so you don't scratch up your Steam Deck on the back, the front, and also the bottom. It drops in just like that. All right, and I did get an Elgato 460K or 4K60 Pro uh, capture card so I can plug this up into my HDMI hub and um, I can output a signal and I can record when I go into desktop mode or I can stream, um, use my PC for a streaming machine and then let the 4K60 Pro do the uh, heavy lifting as far as the uh, encoding or vice versa, whatever, and let the computer do the streaming and let the capture card capture the footage that's coming off of the Steam Deck. Uh, so I can stream that or do how-to videos just in case they have any type of modding type stuff. Uh, let's say that I wanna go into um, my library and then I want to load up um, Emulation Station. Let's see, wherever I put that at. I forgot where I put it. On oh, my collections, okay. So let's go into Emulation. I can actually capture all of this, hopefully, uh, while I have this hooked up to the dock, and I can use my uh, 240 hertz uh, monitor as the screen that's gonna be captured, because this will put out at uh, 720p, but I'm not sure what it does in desktop mode. And I can even take this and hook it up to the TV if I wanted to. All right. 
So I'm gonna test that out and then um, I'll probably make a video about that. But for right now, all I wanted to do is just, you know, do an unboxing of the JSOX. See the JSOX dock, official Steam dock, or Steam Deck dock, and go to uh, jsox.com. Sorry, it's like a last minute video, kind of all over the place, but it's been a long work day. And uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that my followers and subscribers, um, you know, get all the latest news. So if you do have a Steam Deck, um, I can give you a review and let you know if it's worth it. But for right now, I think that it is absolutely worth it just based off the build quality alone. Uh, this comes in at, I think, about 40 bucks. So, um, you know, it's not cheap, but for what it does, I think it's worth the money. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe, leave me a comment. And um, I hope you guys are uh, having a good day, you know. You know, life is, life gets tough sometimes, but never give up. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Dark Skater out. Peace. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Dark Skater 7, and we're at the second part of the video. So the first part, I went ahead and I went over the JSAW or JSOX, however you want to pronounce it, over the dock for the Steam Deck. Um, and I went ahead and showed you the connections, how it would all work, and pretty much I have it hooked up right now. So what you're seeing right now is the output to my monitor, to my computer monitor. I already have my uh, Xbox controller hooked up right now. So everything that you see right now is being controlled by my Xbox controller So we're gonna go ahead and get into a little bit of gameplay and how it performs and uh, I think right now it's putting out at um, 1280 by 720 Which is fine and then it's on the dock mode right now So it's putting out what I would actually be seeing on the smaller screen and of course, you know smaller screen is gonna look a whole lot better So right now as you can see it looks pretty damn good uh, let's go ahead. We can get into playing a little bit of Street Fighter. Now, if I'm in the desktop mode of the Steam Deck, I can put the uh, the output up to 1080p. But we take a hit on the frame rate. I could cap it at 30, but I don't bother. And plus, I was always playing in the handheld mode. So right now, we'll go ahead and play a little bit of Street Fighter 5, and you can see the performance of that and in the dock mode. So what you're seeing right now is what I would be seeing on my computer screen right now. Now, I do have this game on my Steam library, of course, so that's why I'm able to play this on the Steam Deck, because basically they're selling you the hardware and not the software. Well, they're selling the software, but they're selling the hardware at a loss, a very, very cheap price, so you can get it. And this is basically like a mini laptop computer that can run all the Steam programs. So we're going to go ahead and get this fired up. I'll do like maybe a fight or two, um, and then we'll let it log in and see what happens. Then we'll get into a little bit of emulation possibly, and then I will even show you the desktop mode um, if time permits, because I don't want this video to take too long. Computer, shut up. That's my Alexa in the background. It's, uh, it's a little antsy right now. So right now it's logging into the server. And then we're gonna use uh, one of my favorite characters that I see on the game. All righty, there we go. Of course, we got to always log in and do all this crap right here. Close all this stuff out. All right, so let's go arcade. I like doing uh, Street Fighter 4 all the time. Street Fighter 4. Yep, let's get it. And we're going to use uh, Kage. So right now, you can imagine uh, that this display at 720 on a smaller screen will look amazing, but it's even looking pretty damn good at 720 right now on my computer screen. I'm not sure exactly what the frame rate is. I could pull up, um, let's see, I could pull up this here, and that's my overlay, and I can actually pull this up and uh, say exactly what I want to see. Let's see. So we have performance overlay level, and I can, I can push that over and it'll actually, so the first one, first setting is showing 60. So I'm at a pretty, pretty stable 60. Go even further and we can tell exactly what the CPU usage is and also the GPU. Battery life, it's docked right now. So of course it's gonna be at 100%. And it's showing in the frames per second. And the, uh, let's see. Okay, we're at 16 right now. Go even further over and you can go have all of your different stats that you want. So we're not gonna do that. Of course we're nerds, but we don't feel like doing that right now. I'm gonna ramp it back down and we're gonna turn that off and then get back out of here. Oh, also, let me show you again as well. Um, you can you can set all your different stuff right here. I can cap it at 30 if I want to. 
I can set the refresh rate, which I won't mess with it. Half rate shading or HRS. Thermal TDP. A thermal power limit. Scaling filter, all kinds of different things, right? Go over here and I can go into my brightness, my audio, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, and all this other stuff. If I want to conserve battery, I can turn off the uh, Wi-Fi, but we're not going to do that here. All right, so let's go ahead and get back out of that and go ahead and start our fight. So that's just nerd, a little bit of nerd stats right there. The Steam Deck has a lot of different options. All right, it looks like we're fighting Cammy first. So let's kick our ass. And also, all of this, um, uh, the display right now is being captured on my capture card that I just put into the, put into the PC. Yeah, <laughs> she gonna catch these hands. She gonna catch these hands. She dizzy now. I'm gonna give her another one. Go ahead and win it. She got a lick off him, but it's all right. Cammy <laughs> got jacked up. So you can imagine playing this as a handheld. Um, you can imagine playing this on the Steam Deck and how good it would look with that small screen. Catching his hands. Nah, you're gonna catch his hand. Perfect. But uh, you know what? The first fight, you really never have to do much anyway. You can win that easy. But Kage is one of my favorite characters on here, mainly because he has the Asura from Asura's, uh, what's it? I think it's Asura's Wrath, a game that came out and I used to play it on the 360 all the time. But yeah, it's easily. We're still running a, a nice stable 60. Brazil. And I'll probably be putting up a lot more Steam Deck uh, gameplay uh, because there's so many games that you can put on here. I'll even do a video on how to install Emmy Deck on your Steam Deck if you uh, if you want. But I'll go ahead and do one and I'll put that out there. I don't know what she's doing. Okay, all right, nice, nice, nice. She's trying. Put that up for fourth. If you're not gonna win. I missed that one. Oh, I got it. I hit it. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I'm over here with that bullshit. Honestly, I thought I missed that one. I did think I missed that one. Ah, she caught me with that mess again. You're not going to win. Hey, yeah, you're not going to win. Get that shit out of here. You win. But as you can see, it runs pretty good. Still at a stable 60 right now. We're going to get out of that game. And uh, I want to try a game I downloaded the other day. And uh, this is just, you know, so you guys can see the versatility of the Steam Deck, you have your entire Steam library, or virtually your entire Steam lab library in your hands with a uh, really nice handheld, and you can actually use this as a full-blown desktop if you have a portable keyboard, or you can hook up a keyboard to a USB hub and with a mouse and use it as a full-blown uh, full blown computer. I'll get to that a little bit later. Um, let's try Ruiner, and then we will go into um, Emulation Station, and I'll show you guys the greatness um, and I think one of the strongest selling points of this unit Steam Deck is really awesome if you have the money uh, and you want to buy something that you can have portable and use like just for a gaming system with 
endless possibilities playing and using your entire Steam library or almost, uh, and also being able to play old school games and systems, I would say go ahead and spend the money because it's well worth it. Mm, I'd take a sip of my iced coffee. And we're gonna do, um, let's do a new game. And I like this game right here, it's pretty cool. I'm playing with people's lives, never been more fun. Should have went into the settings also first. I should have went to the settings to see if I can output anything further than 720. But honestly, I don't think I can. All right, let's see what we got. So I think this is going to be a this is a top down shooter uh, type of game. All right. So this would look amazing on the Steam Deck if I was playing in the uh, undocked mode, handheld mode. Of course, they got to go through the regular tutorial. Oh, shit, we already know that. And if I wanted to. I could stream this because I have the capture card now. My first capture card, I liked it, but I actually, I gave it away to one of my buddies that was streaming. Uh, so I went ahead and just, you know, let him have it because there was no need for me to have it at that point. I went ahead and got this one and actually put it into the uh, the build uh, right behind my uh, graphics card. So fits in quite nicely. Now, where are we going? Oh, looks like it's, uh, stay back or I will kill you. Nice. All right, come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, okay, I see what it is. Let's get to where we're killing people, though. That's what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody wants to die. Okay, let's fight some more people. I guess we're going to have to dash. Can I pick his weapon up? That's the question. Guess not. Yeah, most of them are one hits anyway. Okay, yeah. It's been so long since I played this game. I have another wave to kill. Alright, give me a gun. That's what I need. Let's go ahead and get this charged up. Ah, it's a radio. Yeah, all right. This game is something that you would actually, I would love to play this in handheld mode and then take it and have like some really good headphones. Um, you know, it'd be great. Energy shield. Interesting. 
Easy. Let's charge that back up. I'm about to die. <laughs> I'm about to die. <laughs> I probably shouldn't hit that. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna let me replay that section. That's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I want to get to the point where I get to actually do the boss fight. This reminds me of the game Ascent, but this actually came out before Ascent. Come on, let's go. All right, so I think that's enough of that because I don't want to bore you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of this uh, game and go ahead and press uh, exit. Let's get into the good part. Let's get into the good stuff. So let's see. We can um, actually go press this here. And we can go into the whole library. All the different games that I have in my library uh, that I did install here. But what I really want you guys to see is the awesomeness that is uh, the Steam Deck and where it shines. Where it shines is emulation. Let's load this up. This is an emulation station. I'll do a how to video on how to install that on your Steam Deck a little bit later. Uh, maybe, maybe over the weekend I'll do one of those. But right now it's going to load up all the different systems that I have uh, installed on here. And uh, man, it's Honestly, awesome. This is the switch interface, and you'll notice that when I start pressing over, you'll hear some of the switch uh, sounds. So, uh, yeah, so we have like Final Burn Neo, that's going to be MAME, and a lot of different MAME games. And as you can see, like, we have a ridiculous amount of games that are on here, and these are all co coin op games. A lot of stuff that I never saw before. Uh, shoot, let me start this one up. Start on a really good one. Uh, this is a top down shooter. Uh, bullet storm type game. Throw a bunch of quarters in there, and I'll play a little bit here. Call the company uh, Cave. Bullet storm here. I want to get out of that. Go ahead and just back on up. Go back out, and I can go to Turbo Graphics 16, Nintendo 3DS, a bunch of different games on there, and inside of uh, the uh, the setup. It scrapes for different um, different images for the games and stuff. So you can have like your 3D, your 3DS uh, box art on there too. Nintendo DS, bunch of games on there. Nintendo Entertainment System, lots of stuff on there, of course. You know, your classics, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, GameCube, Super Nintendo, Switch, Wii, Wii U, Dreamcast, you know, so on and so forth. Um, but it's freaking awesome. It really is. I got to load up a bunch of stuff on there. Uh, so I was playing something earlier today. I want you guys to see how smooth that this operates. It's incredible to have something like this in your hands for the price that they're actually charging. It's ridiculous. So for the uh, the version that I have with the etched anti-glare glass, um, it was about I want to say six hundred and fifty bucks ish, something like that. And um, but you can get the different versions, the lower versions. Um, with smaller uh, storage capacity, but you can still disassemble your Steam Deck and you can install more storage, or you can always buy a bigger memory card. So it really doesn't matter what version you get. 
So we're playing a little bit of Soul Calibur 2. And we're going to pick Link because Link is the man. Look how easy this look how easy it runs. And you can always go into the desktop mode and load these different emulators up separately and um and tweak, you know, tweak everything. Yeah, get out of here. Get off get out get out of the ring. Get out of the ring. With the fadeaway. <laughs> and get that ass up out of here. Now imagine playing this game on a smaller screen, how good it would look. It looks good now, nostalgic, but imagine playing this on a smaller screen. Wait a minute, I'm talking too much. Yeah, have that, there you go. Hold up, fam. You know what, let me go ahead and beat her. Uh, she might, she might hit, she might, <laughs> she whooped my ass. That's what I get for running my mouth. <laughs> now Jess is about to get that ass. Yeah, you better know. <laughs> no, I gotta, I gotta mess her, I gotta mess her up now. That shit out of here. Yeah, uh huh. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Light work. <laughs> Let me back out of that emulator. <laughs> Yeah, you could, but you can see uh, the basic gist of it. This system is really cool. And then this just the simple fact that you can dock it and, uh, you know, come home from work like I did and get on the game like this is amazing. It's, it's awesome. All the different Switch games that I, uh, that I got on here, I went ahead and uh, procured and put on here. I will not tell you guys where to find these games, but, you know, they're out there. Play a little bit of Mario Kart Deluxe, and let's uh, let's do a little something right there. And I think right now it's locked at a steady sixty, but of course it has a load the shader cache. We'll see a little bit of stuttering because I have not played this game a lot. So every time it does something new, as I stated in another video, then uh, you see a little bit of stuttering until you get done on a regular basis, and then there's no problem. Let's get it. And I'll pick uh, 100cc. I'll do um, like the first level since I know we've played through that already. Yep, start it up. Let's go ahead and finish this race up. We'll back out and then we'll uh, do a little bit. We'll go into the desktop mode so you can see how that is. And then we'll end the video there. Yeah, I've already been uh, recording for about 22 minutes. Get it. Because you guys are not going to win. Wow, I knew I was going to hit myself. It's all good. They're not going to win. I'm still going to get first place. You're going to get first place. Tow it out. Goodbye. All right, time to start putting some distance between me and them. It's all good. Look at Toad. Bruh, stop. They're not playing with me. It's all right. I'm still going to win. Bruh, what? 
<laughs> That's why I get for trying to show out and try to say I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and win. I am gonna win though. All right, let's get it. All right, final lap. Let's go. I don't have much space between us. They may pull some slick shit and still win, but we're going to try our best to knock it out. Time to stop playing around. Make sure we hit those power slides. It's all good. No problem. Yeah, I'm pretty far ahead. I ain't got nothing to worry about. Somebody might hit me with a blue shell, but that's all right. Definitely going to win. Throw back a parting gift. All right, just like that, man. We get the dub. Easy. That blue shell is still going to hit me, though, but it's too late. And we can back up and get out of that. So we're back out. But yeah, you can see the emulation is one of the strong suits of the Steam Deck. Uh, it's amazing. Um, I can't speak enough on it. PlayStation 3 is also on here. Let me back up out of this and show you guys uh, something else. So we're backing up out of that. And we can go into our collections and it'll show all of our stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's go into our uh, library. And then we're going to go all the way over to collections here. And so it shows our breakdown of the different types of games that we have. Arcade, um, Final Burn Neo, 992 games. Uh, Dreamcast, 12. DS, 217. So yeah, it breaks everything else up like that. Of all the different games and stuff that you have um, in your uh, separate emulators. So at any given time, I can go in here and I can pick the different games that I want to. And I can scrape for the different, um, I guess, the art for the games. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to desktop mode and let you guys see what that looks like. Now, the capture may turn off for a second, but we're going to uh, I'm gonna go into desktop mode just so I can show you guys a little bit about what it looks like. So we're going to switch to desktop mode. I'm going to open up my keyboard here and you're just going to see De Elgato no signal for right now and now you see that we have the desktop mode and it's a full-fledged desktop I have my browser right here my file explorer the different discover so if I want to uh, find some different community uh, based um, community based programs I can go in here and right now I got my Steam Deck as one display so I have to drag this over so you can see it. There you go. Oh, not that. I'm sorry. That's the wrong one. Let me close that. Let me pull the other one over. Yeah, here it is. So you got your featured different community uh, apps and stuff that you can put on your Steam Deck or Linux. And then um, I can open up and I can update the different programs that I have on here. Close that and I go down here into my application launcher and then I can go into the games. Those are my different emulators. Or what I did was I set up a folder here that has my different um, my different Steam games in it. Also from here, and this is wild, I can launch Steam from here just like that. And it'll open up like it was opening up a uh, another window, but it's on my Steam Deck um, display right now. If I want to drag that over, I can have that and I can push it up until it fills up the entire screen and I can do my search and stuff like that on here. But anyway, I don't want to keep you guys any longer. We've uh, I've been doing this for 30 minutes almost, and hopefully I gave you a good idea of, um, you know, what it looks like, uh, the capabilities of the Steam Deck, which this is just scratching the surface. There's so much more you can do. And also, uh, you know, just the. Just. The awesomeness of the hardware. Anyway, if you like the video, you want to see more, make sure you like and subscribe. 
And uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Sorry that this one was so long, but there's so much to talk about. And I can break these things down into do little small bite-sized videos about this stuff. And uh, yeah, just leave your uh, comments and suggestions in the, uh, in the uh, comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Just get her out. Peace. Now I have to close it all because I got to get to it. Anyway, <laughs> later, guys. Bye-bye.